You know what's weird? I'm watching this game right now. Mayfield started out 0-5, or 0-5. for I think he finished up his last 23 passes completed and five touchdowns in a game-winning touchdown with 16 seconds left, right? Look at this. I mean, this guy's a stud. But the following day, I expected them to say, oh, this guy played like a beast. You know what they said? Well, he started out 0 for 5. Uh, they just they didn't give him no credit. They're like, well, this is what he's supposed to do. He's the number one pick. No credit whatsoever. Comeback. It's like it didn't happen. That's how you know Baker Mayfield is. This, they, they, people hate him. These NFL analysts, they hate him. Not all of them. Some of them do. Some of them come around. But this game here, people don't realize this game. We were 4-2. and two. We just come off a of shellacking at Pittsburgh. In this game here, if we lose this game, we go to 4-3, and three, and that changes the season dramatically. This was a big win and a comeback win. And if we would have lost this game, there's no telling what would happen to our season because this is a day we lost Beckham. But Mayfield finished like 23 straight pass completions, and they gave him no credit whatsoever. Five TDs, um, game-winning touchdown, no credit whatsoever. Baker Mayfield is the most disrespected player in NFL history, and the guy's great. And we're going to win a Super Bowl this year. You know what they're going to say? Well, I mean, you know, hey, that's what he's paid for. He's the number one pick in the draft. They're going to make every excuse in the world not to give him any credit. They're going to say, well, look at the roster, how stacked it is. I mean, Sam Darnold could have won a, a Super Bowl with him. That's what they're going to say. And guess what? He's going to win another one, and they'll say the same thing. Well, you know, hey, Tom Brady's got six. So, Baker, we got you back. We don't give a fuck about the outside noise. I think it's funny how mind-fucked Baker Mayfield has a lot of these analysts. It's hilarious. A little white kid from Texas, six foot one, has these guys dancing over because he's great, and they don't want to admit it. And hey, if he gets seven Super Bowls, they'll be like, well, you know, hey, look at the roster he had. I mean, God made the Browns win. I mean, they were so bad for so long, they had to win. You know what I'm saying? You get the picture. So Mayfield is a beast, and I wouldn't trade it for nobody. It's bottom line. And I expect uh, not multiple. I expect a good six to eight Super Bowls with him this, uh, in the next 12 and 13 years.